Hello world, Alexander Buckley here and let's talk games. We are living in a golden age of gaming. Technology has moved on so far now that our phones are able to run flagship console games from previous generations, which is just, that's insane. However, one of the best things of this generation we're currently in is gaming remasters. Classic games such as Crash Bandicoot have been rebuilt from the ground up and given us all a nice big dose of nostalgia. But if that wasn't good enough for you, they're getting rare games now, games that were really hard to come by like Shadow of the Colossus, and they have been given the remake treatment as well, which allows gamers who missed out the first time round of the initial release the opportunity to experience the game with much better graphics, and in some cases even better controls. So this got me thinking, what five PS2 games should also be remastered? Well, you know what, why don't you sit back and relax as we go over the five games that should get the remaster treatment. Number five, Tony Hawk's one to three. So if we take a leaf out of the Crash Bandicoot playbook, these games are just iconic and groundbreaking. And why not just do all three of them instead of just the one or two or even three? No matter how many new games are ever released in this series, with a massive Hawk branding across it, nothing will ever, ever, ever live up to the first three titles in the franchise's history. These games are fast, they were fun, and they were addictive. Tony Hawk games are absolutely perfect for remastering. Just keep it simple, just polish up the graphics and keep the controls pretty much the same and you've got an easy winner here. Number four, Splinter Cell. I remember when they first announced this. This was just shrubbed off as a Metal Gear Solid clone until people actually got to play it and the review started to come out. <laughs> this was so much more than just a cheap clone. If anything, this evolved the entire stealth genre that Metal Gear started. This was a brilliant game with a fantastic story, great visuals, and an evolving game that just asked so much from gamers to get used to new mechanics and, and new ways to think around environments. I mean, and if that wasn't great enough as well, these, these mechanics that were introduced, like hiding in shadows and stuff like that, they were introduced in a multiplayer mode, which was absolutely breathtaking and fantastic. It's still one of the best multiplayer games I've ever played. So if they can make a remaster where they take that multiplayer and they remaster the original games as well, this is, this is just perfect. This, this series is just ripe for a remaster. Number three, GTA Vice City. So many people expect the next GTA to be set in Vice City. And whilst that would be amazing and everyone would like that, let's be honest, if they just re-release the game with better graphics, slightly tighter controls, most notably the shooting mechanics, everyone would be happy and just jump on board a remaster of Grand Theft Auto's Vice City. Yes, it has been ported to mobile, but you know what, if we scrap all those touch control nonsense and everything like that and just get a decent remaster, we would have one of the most atmospheric and iconic games of all time. Number two, Silent Hill 2. So there was a rumor there was a new Silent Hill game coming out, and you know what, it pretty much broke the internet when that rumor hit, but we all waited, and then with bated breath, we just got nothing because yeah why huh so Silent Hill is one of the OGs of horror gameplay it is a masterclass in storytelling and once again this is an overused phrase but these are really iconic games and it built off the excellent Silent Hill that preceded it this sequel just ramped up the tension the entire way new great visuals great improvements and tweaks to the control system this is a game that just needs a, not only needs a remaster, but needs a sequel in all honesty. So Silent Hill 2 would definitely be one of the top ones that just needs to be remastered. And number one, The Getaway. See, I like to be a bit controversial at the end, but stick with me on this one. It would be nice if this game did get a sequel, but you know what? We'll settle for a remaster in this case. This game needs a remaster. At the time, the game was aiming for this uber-realistic look but the PS2 just didn't have the horsepower to make this possible. But with technology today, this game could look incredible. Just take a look at what they're doing with Watch Dogs 3, and you can see the potential of what a getaway game could look like with brand new graphics. The story was gripping, even the acting was pretty great, considering the dialogue left a little bit too much to be desired. The getaway is primed for remaster, and now that things have moved on to a certain point, they could finally make the game they always intended to make, rather than the game we actually got. So guys, that is going to be my list. 
What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Why not let me know in the comments down below? And if you like this video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate that. But you know what? Also, do me a massive, massive favor. You guys could subscribe to the channel as well because that helps me grow and reach new people and more fun people. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.